natural disasters, climate change, failed harvests, a global pandemic. For more than 40 years, EFAD has helped small-scale producers to earn decent incomes and feed their families in the face of shocks. Now a new crisis looms on the horizon. The conflict in Ukraine is disrupting global markets and trade, driving food, fertilizer and fuel prices higher. This has an alarming impact on food security, agricultural production, incomes and nutrition, particularly in the world's poorest countries, that could increase poverty and hunger and stoke social unrest. Food insecurity coupled with the challenge we are facing in terms of inequality in the society just exacerbate the global situation. So the danger of increased conflict is very high. EFAD was created to support medium to long-term development, but it also has the capacity to shift its resources to address short-term needs that are also effective in building long-term resilience. In 2014, when millions fled the civil war in Syria, putting a huge strain on neighboring countries, IFAD created the facility Farms to help host countries cope. In Jordan, the facility offered agricultural training and loans to both Syrian refugees and local farmers to help boost food production, improve livestock and spark opportunities to earn additional income. In 2018, more than 7,000 displaced people settled in Warugu, eastern Niger, after fleeing from Boko Haram terrorist attacks in northern Nigeria. IFAD repurposed funds from an existing project there to finance a solar-powered water pumping station to help provide sufficient water for everyone and release tensions between residents and refugees. Funds from the Rural Poor Stimulus Facility helped families in Guatemala buy equipment during COVID-19 lockdowns, as well as set up online businesses so that they could keep working. Over the years, in consultation with our government partners, IFAD continues to invest in building the resilience of small-scale producers so that they can cope with a variety of shocks, including climate change. In Bangladesh, for example, extreme flooding and sea level rise threatens the livelihoods and well-being of thousands of people for up to half the year. Forty-five years ago, IFAD was born in response to a global food crisis that caused widespread famine across the Sahel. Today, our work is just as vital. As the world faces another food crisis due to the conflict in Ukraine, we are intensifying our work to increase local food production, reduce post-harvest losses, and strengthen local and regional markets. A crisis of this magnitude requires joint actions, and we are collaborating with global efforts to meet growing needs. As we launch our own crisis response initiative, to scale up our efforts to build the resilience of the most vulnerable communities, we are calling on member states for their support. In Somalia, for example, the country is in the grip of a widespread drought, and now higher fuel and input prices resulting from the Ukraine conflict is making things much worse. <laughs> We are determined to protect the livelihoods of poor rural producers and ensure the development gains made over the past years are not lost. 
EFAD's unique mandate and focus on recovery, rebuilding and resilience is now more important than ever.